What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be learning the song This Is Home by Cave Town. Real quick before we get into it, I would like to ask that if you find this guitar tutorial helpful, that you please consider subscribing. That would really mean the world to me. Now let's get into it. You are watching. Logan's Lessons. Capo, 7th fret. I chose the 7th fret because it allows for us to use easier chords and it makes the guitar sound a bit more like a ukulele, which is what the song was originally recorded on. That's the instrument throughout the main majority of this song. Now the first chord we have is an F major 7 chord. To play an F major 7 chord, we're going to place our third finger, our ring finger, on the third fret from the capo on the D string. Our middle finger on the second fret of the G string. And our index finger on the first fret of the B string. You're also going to want to make sure that the high E string rings out. Okay? That's the first chord. The second chord we have is an F minor chord. To do an F minor chord, you're going to take your middle and your first fingers off. And instead, you're going to bar your index finger across the first fret of your G, B, and high E strings. And then the last chord for the verses and the intro is a C major chord. To play a C major chord, we're going to place our third finger on the third fret of our A string, our middle finger on the second fret of the D, and our index finger on the first fret of the B string. Okay, so we have an F major 7 to an F minor to a C major. Now let's talk about the strumming pattern. Now the strumming pattern for the verses mostly is a down, 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 up. Okay, for the F major 7, we have. And right there, we switch to the F minor chord. Same strumming pattern down, 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 up. Okay? Then we go to the C major chord, and the C major chord is going to last twice as long, and we change it up halfway through the strumming pattern. So we do the same down, 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 up, and then we start down, up, down, 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 up. So we have down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, okay? So all of the chords together will sound like this. And that just repeats. That gets us into the chorus. Now the chorus is pretty similar, but we're starting on an A minor chord. To play an A minor chord, we're going to place our middle finger on the second fret of the D string, our third finger on the second fret of the G, and our index finger on the first fret of the B string. Same strumming pattern. Then we go to an F major chord. To play an F major chord, we're going to place our third finger on the third fret of the A string our pinky finger right below that on the third fret of our D string, our middle finger on the second fret of the G string, and our index finger on the first fret of the B string. The same strumming pattern applies, so just make sure you don't hit the high E string. Then we go to the C major chord, which is the same as in the verse. And that's the chorus, you just do that four times in a row. After that first chorus, we have a second verse and a second chorus, both of which are identical to their previous counterparts. Then we get into a bridge. Just like the chorus, the bridge starts on an A minor, but this time we're changing the strumming pattern. The strumming pattern now will be too quiet, like a down up, but it's quiet. I like to just play like the A and the D strings. And then we have a loud down up. And that kind of repeats down up, 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 down up. Okay, so. After you do that four times like I just did, we then go to a D major chord. To play a D major chord, we're going to place our index finger on the second fret of your G string. 
Then your third finger is going to be on the third fret of your B string, and your middle finger on the second fret of your high E. Same strumming pattern, just take the small strums and put them on the D and the G rather than the A and the B. After that, we go to an F major chord. Then the last measure, we split between a C major and an F minor. So the whole chord progression so far is a A minor, D major, F major, C major, F minor. Then that thing repeats again, but this time we don't split the C and the F minor. We're just going A minor, D major, F, C. Then right after that bridge, we have this little instrumental piece where we're going from the F major 7 to the F minor. And then we're into an outro. The outro is just the chorus. Just each chord is strummed out one time instead of like having a strumming pattern. So we have the A minor, F, C. And you do that four times. And that is how you play This Is Home. If you have a song request, let me know. If you wish to be notified of future videos, hit that bell. I sincerely hope that you are well. Please do me a favor and hit that like button blue. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too. I hope this video has been a blessing. You've been watching Logan's Lessons.